Hi everyone, Alan Schemmel, DevOps.com, here for DevOps TV at IBM Interconnect 2017. Our guest right now is Igal Levy, and Igal is with Nice Actimize, a company uh, exhibiting here at uh, Interconnect. Igal, welcome. Thank you. So Igal, let's start off with a little background for our audience who may not be familiar with Nice Actimize. What, what exactly does the company do? So first, Nice Actimize is one of uh, the biggest division uh, of Nice Systems. Uh, in few words, I will say that we actually uh, developing products that are trying to catch the bad guys. We are in the financial market, um, and uh, our uh, product actually, uh, in a very high level, trying to uh, monitor in real time any uh, financial transaction uh, to catch a fraud or anti-money uh, laundering. Mm -hmm. um, our customer are the big banks uh, like Citi, JP Morgan, Bank of America, uh, customer that have in uh, millions or hundreds of millions of customers. Uh, so this is in a very uh, high level. Of course, sure. that we're trying to, uh, to touch many, uh, many area or, or, or niche in, in, in the, this market, like the financial market, the, the anti-money laundering, the fraud, remote banking, uh, credit cards, debit, deposit, uh, and things like that. Understood. So, what brings you to uh, to Interconnect 2017? So, it's a uh, 15 hours flight. <laughs> it's not around the corner. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, actually, uh, a year ago, we started a partnership with uh, IBM uh, with implementing the RTC2 as part of our uh, age of transformation. Uh, and I'm going to present tomorrow uh, the journey that we had together uh, with IBM. Uh, how uh, the IBM tool, the RTC, help us um, uh, to implement uh, the Agile uh, transformation that we did. So I'm excited. It's going to be tomorrow. Yeah. And, uh, so in a world, Egal, we live in a world where security, and, and you're talking to someone who spent the last 15 years in, in InfoSec, before they called it cybersecurity. You know, all of a sudden security is on everyone's lips today. It's it's the, you know, in the top of, of everyone's mindset. And it, 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 there's almost an irony, an ironic, that a digital security company now is faced with having to do a digital transformation and using technologies like like Agile and DevOps, etc., to stay on top of its game, to stay at the at the top of the of the uh, market. What what made you guys sort of realize that you had to do something different, that you had to adopt Agile and, and so forth to to be competitive, or what was it? So, so I think like moving to Agile is, uh, or, or the decision to move to Agile is, is actually to try to address a few things. First is, is, is time to market. Try to be quicker and provide solution, especially when you're talking about security and, and things like that. You need an immediate solution. Um, uh, so this is the first thing. Uh, the second thing, uh, we want to be an uh, efficient company. Um, uh, and to deliver things in a very high uh, quality. I don't think that uh, we can compromise on quality um, if we are delivering something to our customer. And as I said, our customer are big banks. And if they have millions of customers, so we cannot allow uh, releasing a product uh, with quality issues. So all, all of this together, efficiency, productivity, quality, are very important for us, especially in these days. Uh, and that was the main reason uh, to move and become uh, more agile. Got it. What about competitors? Compet competitive pressure, trying you know, to maintain, I mean, the faster, the more secure, the faster, the higher quality wins the prize, right? Yeah. And, and, and often people say that that's a driving uh, force for, for these kinds of things. So. When did you undertake this transformation? So, uh, 15 months ago, we understood that we need to make the change. Um, uh, the top management of uh, Optimize uh, took uh, uh, training for, the, uh, for Agile, actually for SAFE methodology. SAFE is for Scale Agile Framework uh, Enterprise. Yes. 
Um, and, and after this training, we decided that this is the direction that we want to take. In a few months, we uh, uh, moved around 400 people, the R&D organization and the product, into Agile, which is a, was a big effort, but a big achievement. Um, so actually, I will say that we are one year already in the Agile transformation, and we can see a lot of benefits uh, from it uh, sure. as we move in there forward. So when you say you moved 400 people into Agile, did they go for like scrum training or something or what exactly? So yeah, it's a, it's a good point. I think that uh, the most important things when you move in teams is to start with the training. So we actually done it top down. So we start with the top management and then to our uh, R&D directors uh, uh, and other uh, different level of management team leaders and the team members. Um, because uh, from our perspective, they are uh, the agent of, 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 of this uh, uh, change. Trans change and, and uh, it was very important. So we invest a lot in training in the beginning mm -hmm. and we're continue to invest in training as, as we move in uh, forward. That's fantastic. Um, so how do you measure the success of this though? What, what, what benchmarks or metrics did you come up with? to say, hey, this is working, or maybe it's not working? So we have hundreds of KPIs, not joking, only a few KPIs uh, that actually trying to uh, uh, measure a few elements. Uh, the first one is quality. We want to see that uh, the releases uh, are in good quality. We are releasing with less known issues. Uh, so this is one aspect, and I'm going to discuss it also tomorrow in my uh, presentation. Uh, the second uh, thing is uh, regarding uh, productivity. Uh, predictability uh, so uh, to be able to see if whatever we're planning we are committing and committing we are delivering on time uh, other aspects is regarding um, uh, the team velocity uh, so this is uh, a, another aspect uh, that we are uh, measuring uh, and, and under all, all of these there are more uh, KPIs that we are measuring but definitely I can tell you that uh, the, the KPIs that we're using showing a positive progress uh, since we move uh, to Agile. Excellent. And um, you mentioned a, a few times that this was really at your bank, or at your, not, excuse me, not your bank, at the company, this was very much a top down led transformation. How, I'm, I'm interested because this is something I've always, I'm always curious about. How did that come about? Did, I mean, who initially said, hey, we got to do something here? And did it initiate at that top level or someone had to sort of convert? The so uh, it's, it's, it's interesting question. I think it's all, all of that. Um, I think that uh, from management perspective, we realized that something needs to be changed. Um, I can tell you that uh, my boss, uh, the CEO of uh, uh, Nice Optimize, uh, said, okay, enough is enough. Let's look for something outside, uh, something different. And I think that from the minute that he say that and we agree that something needs to be changed, and of course there was always discussion around it, a minute after that we, we have been part of the uh, uh, transformation and we started to work on that. So I think that this is a great example because if you don't have the management, top management support, you cannot do uh, anything and you cannot succeed as, as I think that we succeed in the last year. Absolutely. So. You know, 15 months is not a long time to do a digital yeah. transformation. So I, I imagine the, there's much still in front of you. <coughs> You've already seen progress. You've already seen quantifiable improvement. What more do you hope to, to see on, in the coming months and years? So first, more quality and more productivity and more efficiency. Uh, and there is always place uh, uh, for improvement. Um, uh, I think that um, uh, first, uh, I believe that we are still in the transformation. Uh, we need to educate the teams to become more efficient, to work more agile uh, than today. Sometimes you speak agile, but you're still working as a waterfall. So there it's is fast waterfall. Yeah, it's a fast waterfall. So there is a journey here that we are continue to invest with coaching. Uh, I think that uh, uh, there are many um, uh, connections uh, that we need to put together as a one, I would say, ALM uh, tool, uh, application life management yes. tool, uh, with regarding connecting the DevOps uh, elements, the continuous integration, to do more automation in our uh, development and testing. Uh, so we are progressing in all this. Uh, 
uh, but we are in the beginning of the journey. Right. Uh, so there's still more to do. So, Miguel, you know, many people say that sort of DevOps picks up where Agile ends. And, and, and you mentioned that you are started, starting to bring in some of these other teams to work with developers. Agile being the first step and, and moving on in DevOps. Um, what about sort of QA, security, the other stakeholders in the equation here? What are we doing, and, and the ops people in general, what are we doing to bring them into this, into this new way of doing it? So uh, it's interesting. First, in my background, I was uh, responsible for the global QA in ICE Actimize for many years. Uh, and as part of the Azure transformation, we actually embedded them in the R&D organization, uh, which I think in general, it's, it's, it, this is the right direction uh, to create the full accountability and, and to work as a one team. Um, I think in the end of the day, uh, there is no difference between the QA or the developers. Uh, I think that some of the methods or the focus on doing more automation uh, stuff than manual is very important. So there is a transformation for the QA themselves from yeah. doing manual to, to, to automation. do automation and you need the right skills for that. Uh, but in general, I think that there is a lot of benefits that working as a one scrum team where developers and testers sit in together. There is no waste time, like you finding an issue, you go into the developer, you should fix it so you don't need to report the defect. Uh, so there is a lot of value uh, working like that. Um, so uh, I don't think that there is any unique ways uh, to deal with the QA. There is always uh, uh, challenges where QA believe that, you know, now that they, they need to do more development stuff or more automation, they don't have the right skills, so there is a concerns. But in general, I think that uh, it's Good. okay. And what about, you know, one of the important things we talk about in, in DevOps transformation, Agile transformation, is the cultural aspect. How, how has the team kind of reacted to this? It's been a year now, over a year. How has the team reacted to that? So I will say that uh, in percentage, 80% uh, of the teams, if not more, uh, feel good, uh, very positive about the change. The 20% still feel good because they're working for nice Actimize, yeah. but uh, we have some challenges. Um, uh, changes are always complex. Uh, some people believe that it's the right direction, some not. And I think that what we need to do is to continue to invest with coaching and in sometimes uh, leave the team for a second and they will find by themselves right. that uh, this is the right uh, direction. So uh, it's, it's, I think in general it's okay. Uh, we can feel the culture, we can feel, uh, you know, we're talking uh, the agile language mm -hmm. in our organization. Um, but of course, like er anything, we have a challenges and we need to continue to invest in, in the teams or the area that we need to improve. Absolutely. And, and there's still plenty to do. A um, couple, just one or two more questions ago. Specifically the ops team. How is this affecting them? And, and what has been their reaction to it? So uh, you're talking about the team that doing the implementation of uh, our product. And then so, post-implementation post as well. Okay, so um, I think that one of the good things that we found uh, moving to Agile uh, is actually that um, I will say the relationship or the work, day-to-day -day work with our uh, uh, operation team, professional services team is, is much better. So, so uh, they are much involved with our planning. They are part of our planning. Uh, the quality of our uh, releases is in higher quality, so mm -hmm. they have less challenges. So I think that also in this area, we can see a lot of improvements. Uh, and we're also talking in these days also to see how we can take the professional services, the, the, uh, the operation teams, uh, to become more agile as well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think that in general, we can see uh, a lot of uh, benefit on that. It's also with the customer support that uh, now that I'm uh, managing the team, uh, they are also involved uh, in our planning, in our uh, releases. They're actually part of the release readiness gate. So they actually know exactly what they are going to get and what will be the impact on, on the customer support and also in the professional services. Excellent, excellent. So if I had a last question. Sure. If I had to give you are the teacher. You have to give this whole Agile transformation a report card. What grade do you give it? Uh, 
I know that if you feel that everything is under control, uh, it means that you're in trouble. Yes. So I will give it uh, eight uh, ten. of ten, yes, and I'm sure that we will get to ten. Excellent. You, Yigal uh, Levy, from, I, I, you're going to pronounce the bank nice. Actima. Actima. Uh, thank you for being our guest here. Look forward to seeing your presentation here at Interconnect 2017. And uh, good luck. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com here at IBM's Interconnect 2017.